Are you still watching Ways? Today is National Spouse Day, celebrated annually on January 26th. It is an unofficial holiday which encourages couples to celebrate each other on this day. On this day, people are supposed to take out time of their busy schedule to show just how important their spouse is to them. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I react the same way. So, uh, do you know? I know. Before Valentine's Day, there's something Honestly, else I didn't know. I thought it was just Valentine's Day. Yeah. So, shouldn't it be every day? I mean, in an ideal world, right? You know, yeah. So, it's not. Uh, I said that's why I said ideal. So, like world. today, now, I had to chat my hobby because he's home alone. Yeah. Hopefully, he's home alone. <laughs> that he has, <laughs> he has not. He has not. No, 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 no. Because now that I'm not home now, he can just pick. He can just call his brother. Please, can we go hang out or something? Okay. Maybe. So he's home. Hopefully, yeah. he's home. Yeah. So I just checked on him because I had to leave the house early. I didn't even do anything like cooking or whatever because I had to do back to back and That's all right. of that. You know. But I think sometimes it's very important to pay attention to our spouse. You know, True. take our time. Just show them that they care. I mean, show that them you that you care. care rather. Yeah. You know, it's not easy. That reminder is always. Yeah, good. it's always. Good because I feel I feel special when mm -hmm. you do that for me. Like of if you course. actually take out time, say you know what, mm -hmm. I'm not doing anything today. It's just going to be me you. and you oh, and all of that. Uh, you know, uh, somebody <laughs> just be blushing somehow, you know. <laughs> let me <laughs> let me just clear. <laughs> Why are you clearing your throat? What say you? That's so old boy. Oh, it's not. Let me do. It's not. It's not. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll so try. what? I'll try. So what are your views? Because this old boy. So what do you expect? I don't know, but. Do you celebrate Valentine? No. But ever since I got married, my husband has been but I'm not that kind of a person. Oh, so he's the romantic. I don't one. mind if you don't if we don't celebrate for Valentine's. I don't care. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Very different. <laughs> you have a different species. <laughs> so what what did you find for us, Lamy, today? Okay. Anyway, this has a bit of um legal flavor, so I hope you don't mind. Lamy well, no, lawyer, yeah, that's fine. That's All okay. right. Um the inspector general of the police. The general has instructed the police commissioner in Ogun State, sorry, in Oyo State, to please help the sacked local government chairman to get reinstated into their office. And I'll give the background of this matter. It's been ongoing since last year. Governor Sheyi Makinde of Oyo State came in, and one of the first things he did, he did at that time was to sack the local government chairman. This is a usual thing. On what basis though? Why was this sacking them? It's always, it's a usual thing. But the fact is, this is unconstitutional. You cannot do that because this local government chairman were elected. were elected, duly elected. So it's just like the president sacking a, a state governor. Governor, right? What's the basis for it? So now he sacks them, then there's been cases that has been decided by the Supreme Court saying that it's unconstitutional. Right. Now, the IG is now saying, okay, um, the ATF, the Attorney General of the Federation, gave um, a legal opinion last week, saying that all the governors who are doing this should revert back to status quo and reinstate them. Oh. But especially Governor Shea McNeil because it's of the PDP. But what he's saying now is they should go to court. But they've been to court, this matter has been settled. Now, this week, the governor's, um, the IG is saying the police commissioner should help them get back to their office. And the, and the state governor is going to pushing back. It. <laughs> so there's going to be a major crisis wow. That's crazy. for your state wow. this week. That's crazy. Wow. This is unconstitutional. I don't know why we keep taking, we keep doing things out of constitution. Let's just focus yeah. on law. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. everybody just obey what the constitution says. But you see, sad, sadly, the governor also has seen a lot of flaunting of this constitutional authority um, and rule of law and all that from the above. So, so, I mean, the examples that the examples that the pre there are precedents for all, all of absolutely. this. So, you see, that it's a ripple effect. When one person decides to say that I'm not going to go with the constitution or go with the law, it will ripple, it will trickle yes, down. Yeah. 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 So, absolutely. Mm. That's why right, we are in. We are in, yeah. Nasa, so what did you find for us? Okay, so my story is from the Punch newspapers, and it's about an alleged bushfire raising the Murtala Mohammed International Airport yesterday. So this oh. incident occurred last night. Now, I say alleged bushfire because the federal um, airport authority yeah. of Nigeria yeah. say that they don't know what caused the fire, but it's a bushfire, which is a, it doesn't make sense to me. So you don't know what caused it, but you're calling it a bushfire. 
But it's, a, it's just, you know, food for thought. We think bushfires are... In um, Australia, In you know. Australia, and it won't come near us. Mm. But then the reality is climate change is real. Everywhere. And climate change is causing an increase in global temperatures, which are some of the things that actually would intensify the frequency mm -hmm. and severity of bushfires. So yeah. maybe Nigeria should actually start paying attention to climate change and what we can do. You know, we're talking about we're looking talking out... About that. Yeah, talking about um, paying attention to what's going on in the environment. Because a lot of people, someone just sent me a message last week and was asking, do I think climate change is real? I said, babe, are it is kidding? so real. I said, the seasons are changing. You know, somebody said it's going to rain from February to December this year. That tells you a lot. I said, it's a major, th it's real. It's real. You don't think it's only for it's the Westerners and it's far from us. Yeah. It's real, as real yeah, as... We have to know. pay it's attention to that. Yeah. yeah. We're not doing anything so, about But it. thankfully, there were no casualties. It didn't cause any flight disruptions. I hear it's also following about three weeks ago. Similar incidents occurred in Port Harcourt. There was a fire that engulfed part of the runway. Actually, yeah. yeah. That actually... Well, I don't, this one, they said, no, I mean, we don't know what happened in Lagos. I don't know what also happened white with Port Harcourt, but white fires. But you know what? It makes sense to me that they can relate it to bushfires because it's Hamatan. It's still very dry, you know. And the weather is actually very dry. Yeah, it's very dry. And Today usually the fields that cause, that, um, cause bushfires is just the wood yeah. and hot and, and the um, windy we yeah, <coughs> weather. Yeah. So. All right, yeah. so <laughs> hopefully somebody's paying attention and they do hopefully, something about hopefully. it. So my I'm story is quite um, an interesting one. Mm -hmm. A suspected robber, his name is Ehiwi um, Akira. He, you know, he's been trapped in the police cell um, after having fled a scene of um, robbery. So what they, the, he, he's a, a member of a six-man gang of mm. robbers. Mm. So what they do is they wait by the ATMs when you, or by the banks or where you go to mm. withdraw money. Mm. So they use guns to, you know, harass you to get the money. So when he was arrested, he said that um, the guns were not used to like harm anybody. It was just to threaten you so you let go of your valuables and all of that. That So something very interesting caught my attention. So when he was sharing his story, he, he used to... Um, he used to work uh, somewhere. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what, what he said. But so he now, I think he lost that job and now started doing petty stealing. So in the midst, in, in that petty stealing, that process of petty stealing, he was arrested. Arrested and now taken to jail. He was prosecuted and sent to jail. So he said while he was in jail, the inmates now taught him, introduced him. and introduced him how he could oh, become a full-blown robber. Him. Yes. Wow. So it was while he was in jail that he learned that he armed robbery. So yeah. He, so he's upskilled his jail skills where you're supposed to, to get go and get corrections. corrected. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So that just gave me a bit of ah, okay, you're going to jail. It's of you to come back and say no, I cannot do crime it's, again. Yeah, it's that he came out very, very, you know, <laughs> ready for crime. But then that's a lot of. We need to ask questions, and something needs to be done. Why? Yeah. People going into prison and coming out worse. Oh, but it's so, it's very I good. mean, I know what it is, but. It's no, okay. Um, recently, the prison service, they changed their name to Correctional Center, Center, yeah. But it's just a name. They changed their name. It's, it's not, not about the name. name. Yeah. It's about no, that. it's just in a name. Yeah. Do you what know, is okay, in the name? When, yes, when you go <laughs> abroad, what you see in prisons is they engage them. Yeah. yeah. There are a lot of skills, vocational skills. They so do that people, here. Actually, they do that here. Do they? Even yes. they really learn. They even study degrees. Yes, while they it's while in prison. Yes. yes. Yeah. They have a lot of facility. They have. Have you gone to prison before? Mm. Any prison in Nigeria? It's a pathetic state. It is. I so know what one. I haven't been to do when they're scared. in prison. We're hoping that this prison reform, starting from the correctional change that they have said the correctional name and all of that, we reflect, but we change reflect the changes. Because I know that some prison, some prison, um, they say they actually do those vocational skills. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about degrees now. What about but, engaging them? Yeah. Ooh, watching look, TV and all of that. Well, yeah. We'll, 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 look, we'll look look into and that. And don't forget that most of the time when they let them out, mm -hmm. they don't readily integrate into the system. Absolutely. They don't, because so they're supposed to be some plan. sort of time. Yeah. Yes. All right, so yes. that's all we can take on this segment. Um, Amara Agbim joins us after the break. Please stay with us.